Hello everybody, I'm your host, Derek Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com And today we're going to talk about CEO of my life We're going to talk about financial freedom, how to get to it We're going to talk about expenses, reducing it We're going to talk about taking control of your life today So please, like, subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. All right, welcome back. And how can I forget? Not today, no Tafosi optics. But that's all right. They have specials going on right now. There'll be a link down below, tofosioptics.com. And then what else? Merch. CEO of my life is one shirt amongst a few that you can get by going to stopstrugglingnow.com and going to the SSN merchandise page. So let's get to it. There's a pandemic going on. There's uh, people getting laid off. There's people who want to start their own business. There's people who want to be CEOs of their own life. That would be you. That would be me. You're seeing what is happening when there's a pandemic, when there's a situation where the economy's falling apart. Who can you rely on? The government kicking out $1,000, $1,200, acting like people can live on that? Come on now. Let's get real, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we've been preparing for for the last year, year and a half. What do you got to do? Remember when you're the CEO, revenue, Minus expenses equals a profit or a loss. This is how you have to start thinking now. Make sure your household is like a corporation. This is the United States, or I always mess this up, Corporation of the United States of America likes subsidies. A subsidy is you when you have an LLC. A subsidy is you when you do not have an LLC. You're doing a DBA, doing business as your family name. How about that? So now you start thinking, let's go, ladies and gentlemen, what's our revenue all together? How much are all our expenses? Minus that from our revenues. And now welcome to the world of business. Because now you realize this is all we have to spend. I know this is like minor stuff. But when you start thinking that you're a corporation in your own mind, then you start investing you start reinvesting. You start investing in education. You start investing in yourself is what I'm trying to say. You learn more to be better, to get better, to be more efficient. These are the kind of things when you run your own corporation, when you wanna come up and be strong, when you wanna be the millionaire, when you wanna be an emerging millionaire, this is what you have to do. This is number one and you can't do this for a week. You can't do this for a month. You can't do this for a year. You have to put an S at the end, years of this, so you can be the CEO of your life. Do you wanna work for yourself for 20 years, 15 years, 30 years, and have money left over? Well then act like a CEO. Get your financial freedom. And some of you might be saying, hey Eric, come on now, you've been talking about this for a while. I know. It's all about financial freedom right now, ladies and gentlemen, because if you had that financial freedom, you wouldn't be concerned that much. You would be concerned a little bit because you know you would have money coming in and it's not based on your job. And then you would breathe a little bit sigh of relief. There's a bunch of people right now wishing that they had additional streams of income. It's not too late. Some of you will be getting $1,200 stimulus checks. Some of you will be getting that stimulus money from the EIDL or the PPP. And now there's a stimulus too, as I told you was gonna happen. And the IRS is playing games. Or shall I say, the Small Business Administration is playing games because they don't wanna let go of that money because that money they're trying to give to the one percenters. Are you guys not catching this? It's being held up for stimulus package too. 
And by the way, you already know there's going to be a stimulus package three. We know this. Why? This is becoming a transfer of wealth to the top 10%, 1% of America. These little stimulus packages, us as Americans are going to be paying taxes on. I mean, our great grandkids and our great great grandkids are going to be paying this back indefinitely. So set up your family CEO business right now. You're the head of it. Get everybody around the table. And then you want to say, I am the CEO. In fact, each one of us are C C C CEOs. That's what you have to do. Establish this right now. Think like you are a Fortune 500 company. Think like you are Apple, Amazon, Tesla. Everybody's heard of those names. Think about that. And don't think, though, that you can act like them and just run amok thinking that the government's going to come hand you millions of dollars in a bailout. They're not. And you're not going to get any tax breaks. So what do you have to do? You have to invest in yourself. You have to, amongst yourself, invest in the family business. And how do we do that? I've talked about this before. The simplest format is to do affiliate marketing. How do you do affiliate marketing? You set up your Facebook page. You set up your Instagram page. You set up your TikToks. You set up your Snapchats. You call it whatever business, family business. Whatever you want to do, you set it up. And from that point on, you treat all income coming in as revenue like a business. All your expenses, you treat like a business. And then you get your Schedule C out. The IRS form, Schedule C out. And then you look under that expenses item. A lot of people overlook this. You'll be sitting there thinking to yourself after you look at it, you're like, man, you mean to tell me I could have written off my office over here? You mean to tell me I could have written off this printer? Are you serious? I could write off a portion of my Comcast or cable bill? I can write off my cell phone bill? I can write off advertising in Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or Snapchat? Are you kidding me? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can write it all off. But like I said, get out that Schedule C from the IRS form and look at a myriad of things that you can write off. Even when you travel from your home office or your actual office down to a store to pick up supplies, that could be written off as travel time, as mileage. There's lots of things when you're a corporation that you can write off. And this is how you become financially independent. Because remember, taxes take away your wealth. So therefore, then you start thinking of those profits. How, what are you going to do? You're going to use those as little soldiers running out to make you some more money. Some extra streams of income it can be. And you already know there's seven streams of income that most millionaires have. And the most prevalent one these days is the stock market. So most people say, let me put some money in the stock market. That's right, for future. Other people will say, well, let me put it in a bank, which there's no interest hardly. Some people would say, put it in a, a Vanguard mutual fund, for instance, or, a, or an index fund, as they call them. You can do all of that. But just keep in mind, whatever you do, you have to have a plan. As Warren Buffett once said, a fool with a plan is better than a genius with no plan. Something like that, I'm paraphrasing. But anyhow, that is the situation. When you're CEO of my life, you have to make plans. You have to be five steps ahead of the competition. And you might be saying, who's the competition? It's you. You're competing against yourself. Can you actually save money? Can you actually invest money? Can you actually win this way? These are the kind of things that we're talking about today. So become a CEO of my life. And if you need a little help, you know you can always hit me up at Eric at StopStrugglingNow.com. And you can also do a few other things. You can go to our Facebook group. There'll be a link down below. And there'll be helpful links affiliate links, links that can help you with online marketing, and you can talk to people if you want to. 
in the Facebook group and ask questions if you want to. You can even post up whatever you're promoting or whatever you're selling. But what I'm trying to say is no matter what you're doing right now, if you can find another vehicle to make additional income, then do it while you're sleeping. While you're at your job, you need to figure out a way to make additional streams of income without putting in a lot of extra work. And then that means you have control of your life. So with all that said, please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. That's why I'm advocating the CEO of my life. You have to do it. Now is the time. You can see what happens when the economy goes bad, when you have roughly 40 to 50% of people that have jobs are laid off or out of work. You see how easily this went? How easily it can all come crashing down? And if you don't have a way to make additional money, then you're crashing down with them. You don't have to be like that. You don't have to say, woe is me. All you have to do is take a step today, tomorrow, the next day, the next week, the next month, and keep going. Don't look back. You'll thank yourself later. So keep your head up. Keep moving. And I'm out.